Hello my soccer universe. Today is the big day where Lask is playing against one of the biggest teams in Europe against Liverpool and unlike the previous two times that they faced Premier League opponents namely in 2020 when it was Corona this time the stadium will be full the city is buzzing everyone is talking Liverpool 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 everyone is kind of you know a little bit in awe and of course they have a German speaking coach in Jürgen Klopp who is a pretty big deal around here as well so the hype is going through the roof i would even argue there is more hype around this game than around manchester united back then and i know big rivalry blah 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 but just having jürgen klopp coming here and liverpool having more recognizable stars at this point it's a pretty pretty big deal I've decided to do this video, I usually don't do preview videos like that, but I decided to do this video uh, for two reasons. A, to share my excitement for this game, although I have limited expectations. I am very pleased that I'm going to this game uh, after long, you know, not long, but you know, after, after, after the draw we had, I think a little bit, even my wife said, ah. Liverpool. I want to see Liverpool in the stadium. I said, okay, we gotta go for it. Uh, we figured a way how we can make it work. I am really, really pleased and we got, of course, tickets for all three games. Last tickets being among the most expensive ones for the Europa League. Um, if you buy only the three-day pass or three-game pass. However, I think it is not quite fair to say it this way as well. But So that is, was one reason. The other reason, of course, is if you, like me, watch both press conferences and especially all the stuff that was spoken in German and then translated into English, the translations were so bad, so bad that I had to actually share my disappointment with that. Uh, there should be translators that are much much better that loss can hire than this idiot where I can do a better job in that and you probably got a completely wrong impression especially of what uh, the last team was saying on the other side you probably got a pretty good impression of how everyone is around here this kind of small town mentality blah 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 and the questions that Klopp had to field were rather ridiculous. I mean, what does Klopp care about the f that we're good here with food? Or why do we need to know what he knows about Linz? That's where I come in. I can tell you a little bit about that. If you're a Liverpool fan and you really wonder about that. So uh, let's start this section. Who is Lask? I mean, I made a video when we were about to play United, but uh, this time I will be a little bit more brief. Lask for the most part of the existence have been a um, very well established team, Linz being one of the three biggest cities in Austria. However, they only had one token of success in 1965. They were the first team from Vienna to win a title and that season they won both titles, the championship and the cup. They had, a f I think, they twice finished second or three times they finished second in the league. Other than that, uh, they went through quite some troubles uh, 10 years ago. They just were transferred because they didn't meet the criteria uh, to play in the second league ever, ever they were. They were transferred into the amateur ranks in the third league. However, made a steep rise back for, uh, with the friends of Lusk. And after having a few successful uh, um, runs in Europe for three successive seasons in 1920, 2021 and 21, 22. And after a year out, they're back in the Europa League where they qualified with a little bit of luck against Srinsky Mosca to be honest. So that's kind of the lowdown on Lusk. I think, uh, meanwhile, they have re-established themselves as one of the top teams in Austria. Playing, I think, um, or trying to play a rather attractive style um, that is inspired by Red, uh, Red Bull DNA. Um, but they have abandoned that one and they still have to get going with this so for that reason i think my expectations for this game are rather low although i understand that liverpool is in a similar rebuilding mode but by the sheer comparison liverpool is top three in the premier league lask is top three in the austrian bundesliga and while the austrian bundesliga is not as bad anymore as it used to be there's still a humongous gap so i mean if i would put a um 
line for the gold thief difference, I would comfortably put it at three and probably even more at this point in time because Valask, it has been gelling and Klopp actually acknowledged that. Um, I still think Lask is not where they wanna be. Now, uh, if you watch the press conf co 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 conference, uh, it was very much the translation. Yeah, we only focus on, on ourselves. We have good players. We want to show blah, blah, blah. It's not what the coach said. He basically said that, you know, while it is easy to get lost and see what Liverpool is doing well, there are so many facets of their game that they are really doing well. Let's just close the laptop and let's just see what we can do well. And let's just focus on ourselves to not to get lost in Liverpool, 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 just as a tactic to not uh, scare everyone. Let's focus on us. And he really wanted to put an emphasis on his on the work that he focuses on his team. And then he, he explained a little bit later that yes, they prepare for Liverpool like for every opponent. They have a procedure. But um, they don't want to now over-exaggerate the opponent. Every player knows this is Liverpool. Uh, Jürgen Klopp acknowledges in his press conference also that, you know, every player will give it their all in this one. However, uh, it is clear who is the favorite. So, and, you know, I think our coach more or less says we know that Liverpool is world-class players. But we also also show that we are not that bad. Yeah, I think... There will be a class. I mean, I don't quite know the lineup. I could. I, I'm kind of hoping for the uh, a close to best lineup, uh, just for the sake of it. I mean, I paid uh, a good price to see or to see the stars. Well, we see them warm, warm up because I will be sitting right behind the goal there next to the Liverpool fans. So uh, that is gonna be interesting for sure. But the translations were so awful. No. He did not. He did not suggest that he wants to win against Liverpool. He just says you can get lost in so many details that we just need to focus on ourselves. Now the typical questions from the Austrian journalists also show. Yeah, yay! We have Liverpool here. Yay! So great, and we finally can ask questions, and we go even ahead of it. And of course, the um, the correspondent from the biggest newspaper. I'm sure he doesn't speak any English. Uh, didn't even get the instruction at first, there's Virgil that you ask, and then there's Klopp that you ask. So that was another thing that I really, really found stupid. Yes. In any case, the questions about, uh, yeah, we are known for a good food. No, we are not known for a good food. Yes, I like it because I grew up here, but let's face it, Austrian food, like uh, most of it, north of the Alps, is not... It's heavy food. It's meat and potato stuff. So... Um, but then again, coming from England, maybe it is a little bit better there. <laughs> so, yeah. Uh, also, most of the important information for Liverpool fan, like how to handle the tickets and that you can drive with the tram and so on. If you needed that, that was not handled co correctly. And lastly, I think one of the greatest achievements that last cat is that now the uh, space in front of the stadium is called Helmut Kögelberger uh, Platz. And a long time ago, when he passed away, I made a car video about him and i'm so happy that the last play of the century is recognized by the city of linz with his own space named and in front of the stadium where he scored so many goals for lask i think it's a really beautiful gesture they're doing that ahead of the liverpool game even greater that should have been explained who helmut kögelberger is not just a straight translation i'm so bugged and so i'm giving you a little bit of lowdown here Again, I'm buzzing for this uh, game. It was so fun. Yesterday I was uh, with my colleagues out uh, eating in town. And on the way down to the stadium, I already saw uh, City of Linz, the stadium with the floodlights on. Last cat the training session and then I came back. I knew that Liverpool is arriving late and I think they arrived really, really late, around 8-ish or whatever. Uh, I, I knew the schedule, but you know. I'm not going down to the airport to greet them. But then they had the training session even later and I drove balls driving up and the floodlights were still on. It's so cool to think, yeah, there's Liverpool. That's pretty cool. What I'm a little bit disappointed is that Liverpool will play in the purple jerseys, but hey, I guess. They need to be sold as well. In any case, I'm buzzing. I'm looking forward to it. Of course, it will be a review video. Maybe even short from before the game. I have to see how, how, how it works. Uh, let, let me know what you think about the game. Is there any chance for Lusk? I don't think so. Give me a thumbs up if you enjoy it. It will be just fun. It will be just fun and I think everyone deserves.
to have some fun there as well. I will talk to you soon about that game and more Europa League stuff. Hey there, I really hope you enjoyed this video. And if you did, here are some videos and playlists that you may enjoy too. Also, please consider subscribing to my channel and hit the little bell icon so you get notified whenever something happens in my soccer universe. And with that, have a wonderful day. Bye!